All right, good morning. I'm uh, out at a new site today. I got the B3i with me again, and uh, just dug my first target. It sounded good, good target. And I came up in about a 52, 53. It's a button, and it uh, looks like it's an older naval button. It's got the eagle on the anchor here, and uh, nice piece. It's got the shank on the back, a uh, two piece. And uh, not sure how old it is, but uh, it's a start. All right, looks good. All right, man, let's see what else we get. All right, I uh, just picked up my next signal, and it uh, also came in in the 50s. And we got a, a beat up Indian head. Looks like it's been hit by the plow. Otherwise, it probably wouldn't be in bad shape, but eh, it's a little beat. It's like 19 something there. Can't really make it out. She's pretty beat up, but yeah, about uh, about five six inches down. But um, all right. Well, so far, I think that that button I might have found. It's either uh, an early naval button or a uh, early Marine Corps button. So uh, I'll have to check it out when I get in. But okay, a couple all good right. targets. Got my next target after the Indian head. I chase this one around a little bit. Coming up in the 50s also, and we got a basic uh, one piece flat button. Still got the shank. I should be able to identify that one. It's got some writing on the back. Uh, nothing on the front, though. But, uh, All right. Well, that didn't take long. Took about three steps, and uh, I got another flat button. Again, uh, plain on the front. Got the shank on the back. And there may or may not be some writing on there. Identify it, but a uh, basic flat. All right. I stuck a target. I, didn't, I don't know what it is yet. It's uh, hitting up around uh, 88, 91. Oh, what do we got here? Ah, copper lead. All right, thought I had a good one. All right, next target come up again up in the fifties, and uh, I got a musket ball. It was good. It was quiet for a while, and I just said, ah, man, I ain't found nothing good in a little while here. But uh, all right, things are turning around hopefully. All right, I'll take my next uh, signal. Came up around a fifty-six to sixty on the VDI. And uh, if you can see it right here or not, but I think I'm looking at a two cent piece. Yes, I am. And it's in fantastic shape. Oh, that's nice. Ever, I, a lot of people find the two cent pieces, real, silver coins. It's been, that's in great shape, especially for New Jersey farm fields. So, oh, nice piece, 1864. Nice piece. Nicest coin out of here so far. Pulled a couple Indian heads. And, uh, oh, that's great. Very, very nice piece. Very happy with that. 1864. Okay. There's only a couple inches in the ground, but you never know on a farm field because it's constantly plowed. Not a nick on it. Great, great coin. All right. Let's see what else we got. All right, it's been only a couple minutes and uh, did another run and uh, just picked up a nice buckle. Definitely like the mid-1800s I'd put this site at. And uh, there's a lot of farming and stuff down here. But that was, uh, I had pretty good depth to it, about eight inches down. All right, All that's right. good. Just dug uh, another 56 signal and uh, a couple inches down on the ground. And I think I got a little ring. I don't know if it's silver. Silver or copper, not sure here. But, yeah, looks like I got a little ring. There it at her, it's a piece of cut off pipe. I'll have to check it out a little closer when I get home. I can see some copper coming through it. It's, uh, it's either a little ring or it's a, uh, a piece of pipe. I'll have to look at it a little closer when I clean it up. All right, all right. I got my next target and uh, some kind of token. That's aluminum or something. I'm not sure what that is there. I'll have to clean it up and we'll, uh, we'll check it out. I'll post it. 
Yeah, I'm not, sh not sure what that is. Looks like a, it's a Lincoln on the front. And uh, some kind of commemorative uh, token or something here. Alright, 